hi there friends uh, in this video we'll be talking about kin selection these are the small concepts of evolutionary biology probably you heard this name or may not but uh, you have to understand these concepts very well and it's very important for csi and net exam so what is kin selection and actually if you want to read kin selection from different uh, regions of the web and internet it will make you confused in little about so in a very basic terms i'm going to explain these are some definitions out there uh, you can follow you can read but uh, in a basic terms this one is my favorite what i can say in the very very basic way to explain is a keen selection is a type of natural selection it's a type of natural selection where individuals will sacrifice their own lives in an effort to save closely related organisms therefore ensuring the survival of the genes that they both share so the idea here is that uh, according to the evolution uh, the relation between an organism let's say the organism b with their ancestor organism A. So B comes from A. So obviously uh, as A survived, B will originate. If B survived, the offspring C, the next generation will originate. This is the basic idea of evolution. So it's a linear uh, description of evolution that we see from ancestor to the individuals, the offsprings. But kin selection is a little puzzling because it's not explaining uh, this ancestral part or uh, the, the parental part. What it's telling is that offspring B comes from offspring A, right? But here, let's say another individual of that same population, let's say same species, that is Z is out there. And Z is helping B to reproduce and produce offspring C. So here is a new one, Z, completely different, but closely related individual, which is helping B to reproduce and produce offspring C. And by this helping, this Z is ensuring that this helping hand or these genes, whatever genes is present in Z should be preserved by this process. Why? Because as A and Z are very closely related, right? They are in a family. Let's say A is a father, here B is the son, for example. A is a father, B is son. Now, in this case, Z is, let's say here is uncle, maybe grandfather, uncle, not grandfather, actually uncle would be here, uncle or aunt, whatever it is. They are closely related with their father, A, but definitely not through that uh, part, right, sibling of the father. But this is helping the son, B, to reproduce. Now, in this case, as you see that the individual will sacrifice their own lives in order to help the other organisms, the closely related organism where it is in this case B and Z is sacrificing its life in this case. So if you see this behavior, you will see it's kind of suicidal behavior. Why an organism will do that, right? If evolution's idea is to preserve what it has, its contents. So in this case Z, how could Z is not producing its own offspring? Let's find out that uh, most of the cases of kin selection, the organisms which is helping others may not be in possession of that power. In many cases, we see kin selection in case of sterile individuals. Let's say adults which are sterile in nature. They can't have kids. So in those cases, those sterile individuals will try to help the other organism to have kids, right? Why? Because the idea here is that as they share very very important genes because they are of the same family so obviously if z helps the other organisms the offspring to grow that means obviously in an indirect way it is preserving their own family genetic content this is the idea behind kin selection okay now if i give an example uh, say in case of b in case, this is very common in case of u social u social organisms example is b ants and all these cases there are definitely many, uh, you know, worker bees out there uh, who generally can't have any other offspring on their own. Queen can have offspring, right, with, with the mating with the male. But uh, the other, other worker bees are sterile. So why there are so many of worker bees out there? The idea is kin selection. They work hard to, to produce their home. They work hard to take care of all those eggs as well as the larva, as well as feeding them and making them the individual so that the idea behind it is to transfer the family gene to preserve the family genetic content that is kin selection. And let's say in a situation arises like that in, in uh, 
in the in the wild for example in the forest for example between ants or between any other species if you take uh, for example now in this case they develop uh, with a scenario where the environmental condition is very tough so only few can survive so they want as they are not having any children or kid out there those organisms those relative organisms they find their kin kin means obviously the relatives out there so they find the relatives and to help them grow by these options they will not eat as a result they will die but that individual which is selected to grow and divide and reproduce is survived so that by this way their own genetic content is survived throughout the evolution that is the idea behind kin selection see this is called the direct fitness idea right these are the again some some informations are dumped here you can read it on your own but this in a sense is kin selection and it is a kind of uh, altruism behavior altruistic behavior where our organism is helping others without any expectation in turn but not actually zero expectation there is the expectation that obviously the gene will be passed on and this will be survived and kept very well in that individual so that's it guys that's about the kin selection and if you like the video definitely hit the like button subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that as well as share this video with your friends thank you